Hi everyone, um, I'm going to channel and discuss current energies with the new moon in Taurus that we just had. And then I'm going to look at the week ahead from the 6th to the 12th um, and see what's going on with, with love, with finances, with, um, you know, just energy shifts. This is just going to give you a, a general feel of, of what to, what sort of energy to expect for the upcoming week. So we just had the new moon in Taurus and... Some of the key words that are coming to mind for that are um, awakening, transformation, um, you know, rebirth, psychic ability, change, drastic change. You know, if you've been following my channel and watching my videos, I've, I've been talking a lot about how the past couple months um, people have been pushed out of stagnant energy, you know, like things were stagnant for a really long time, but the past couple months, everything just... It's like the higher powers just just sort of there's there's been divine intervention there's been synchronicity um, the higher powers are just sort of coming down and and um, intervening and and pushing people out of that stagnant comfortable energy and I keep noticing these these sort of waves of um, these sort of waves that it happens in if if that makes any sense like the, the last couple months you know maybe you've been holding on to a karmic relationship or just just an old you know dead relationship and it's like you're going to end up fighting with that person or having issues with that person because, you know, that energy is trying to be cleared out and moved on from, or, you know, you might, um, you might have secrets might come out about that person that might change things. Um, that sort of thing, you know, if you've been in a relationship and you've kind of been on the fence about it and you've been wanting to leave for a while, I feel like a lot of old karmic relationships are, are being, um, pushed out, you know, this, the past couple months, especially, um, same for old jobs, you know, I know a lot of people are having problems with, with co-workers, with, um, with bosses, and, you know, it's, it's the same, it's that, that old, if you're in an old, um, stagnant nine-to-five job that's just numbing your soul, you know, those kind of things are going to be pushed out, you're going to be pushed, um, out of that stagnant energy to, to find, you know, your true soulmates and twin flames, um, life partners, you know, people that, that will actually get you people that are actually compatible with you people that you could have a real you know genuine happy future with um and you're going to be you know same with jobs you're going to be you know leaving old nine to five stagnant energy jobs and and getting on on track with your soul's purpose with your your life purpose you know things that that resonate with you so this is this is just a time of, of drastic change and what I was saying about the, the energy shifts is I've kind of noticed that some people are on a bit of a roller coaster where they'll st they're will they still trying to hang on to um, to the past, to to some situation that's that's been dead for a while. You know, it's, it's kind of like that saying, um, you know, stop and take a look around and, and see how many dead plants you've been watering. Um, and so that, you know, that applies to jobs, it applies to relationships, to, to living situations, to just about any situation. It, it's like, you know stop and and take a look at um at what's what's over what's been stagnant what's um what's toxic what's you know hasn't been making you happy for a long time and and release that so that you can bring in you know your your other half your your true soulmate your life partner um so you can bring in a job that actually makes you happy and resonates with you on a soul level you know this is what this time period is about it's about letting go of the, um, just the toxic things in our life that just aren't making us happy, letting those things go and, and, and bringing in the new, you know, bringing in much better things, bringing in things that are in alignment with, with who we are on a soul level, who we are on a very deep level. And so, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked here. So what I was saying about the energy shifts is I've noticed for some of you that are kind of holding on to you know, the old karmic relationship that, that deep down, you know, you don't really want to keep doing this with that person. You want to move on, but you can't, or you feel like you can't, um, you know, it, it's kind of like a, um, like a tidal wave almost, if that makes any sense. It's, it's, it, the more you fight it, the worse it's going to get. Meaning a couple months ago, if, if, your your guides were trying to push you out of a an abusive or emotionally unavailable relationship. You know, maybe you're an empath and your partner was a narcissist, that sort of thing, and you've been fighting for the relationship, trying to hold on. 
It's like maybe a couple months ago you guys had like a few little fights here and there. Um, but you you knew deep down, you know, that your soul wanted to leave, that there it was time for, for new things, for better things. Um, but if you hold on to that stagnant energy, then it's like, okay, then a couple weeks later the fights get worse. And then, you know, you hold keep holding on to that energy instead of going with this this wave, this flood, and and embracing the new and seeing what comes next. You know, you hold on to that old toxic energy that's just not feeling right for you on a soul level and you know a month later the arguments are going to get worse and worse and worse and that's kind of the the roller coaster that we're on right now I feel with next the over the last couple weeks over the last couple months sorry is you know just going back and forth for a lot of you between stagnant energy and drastic change and then you hold on to the stagnant energy and the, the change gets louder your guides get louder the that your your the tower moments are more intense because you're being pushed out of those things that just aren't, you know, it's just dead end nine to five jobs. It's just things that are killing your spirit, whether that's a person, a job, a living situation, whatever it might be. You know, you are being pushed away from things that are just numbing and killing your spirit. And and that energy is just it's gonna keep getting stronger and stronger. You know, if, if you're like I said, if you're in a relationship that's that's just been toxic, like they've been abusive or they haven't been there or they've been narcissistic, um, you know, the fights are gonna get worse, especially with this with this current um new moon and Taurus. The, the you know, the arguments are gonna get worse. If if you've been in a, a nine to five job and you're just you're holding on to it and, and trying to keep that job, you know, you're you're gonna have more and more drama with, with coworkers or with whatever it is going on. You're gonna there's going to be more issues because your guys are trying to push you out of that situation so you can open yourself up to, to you know, things that are going to feel right for you on a soul level. So, you know, this year we do have new love coming in. We have, you know, partners that are, that are actually going to be right for us. Partners that are actually going to be emotionally available, emotionally supportive, um, you know, deep soul kind of connections that are that are just going to resonate with you um like i said jobs too that are that are just going to feel right for you you know if you love working with children or you love working with animals you know i feel like this is the year to either start that or or finish something that you put off you know finish art project that you put off so let me see here okay there's my sage um, a psychic, I, I feel like everyone's, I mean, my third eye is, is just really, really open right now, the past few days. And I will say the energy right now is pretty crazy. It, it's pretty hard to, to to navigate this energy. There is there's a lot of chaos. Um, but like I said, you know, things are getting more, these energy shifts are coming in, I feel, because, because again, people are, are holding onto the stagnant energy. So it's getting more, more and more chaotic, you know, as we're being pushed out, um, you know, the, the, our guides are basically calling for, for drastic change and they're going to do what they need to do to, to have that change. And that's on a global scale too. That's not just a few people here, or there, here or there. It's, it's, you know, there's, we're going to see it changes all over the world. I think this year, I think there's going to be political changes, religious changes. Um, there's just, there's a lot of movement right now in the astral realm. And, and that's, you know, we're, we're seeing physical manifestations of that on earth now. And, and so, you know, this new moon in, in Taurus is about that. It, it's like, if you're still holding on to stuff, it's, it's being pushed out and the new is coming in. Um, if you've been planting seeds, you know, especially since last year, that was a really powerful time to be, to, to plant seeds, to, to start thinking about your future and thinking about who you are and what you want. And, I feel like, um, you know, those, you're going to see this, those come into fruition right around this time, you know, especially being the kind of like spring, summer energy that we're in right now. This is a really powerful time for, um, for manifestation. And what I was saying about my third eye opening the past, you know, I'd say the past week or so is I, I think that that's also a collective energy right now. Um, just, you know, divine intervention connection with, with your guides um, awakening, spiritual growth, you know, releasing, um, releasing toxic people, release, releasing toxic friends, family members, and inviting your soul group in, inviting your, your soulmates and your, your twin flame and, and, you know, people that actually resonate with you on a soul level in, and, 
and chaos at work and, you know, just, just leaving old jobs and, and not knowing where to go next, you know, and, and, you know, call it like finding your soul path, finding, finding who you are, you know, it, it, it is really, I mean, it is a messy process, you know, there's, there's just a lot going on, I feel right now, there's just, it's kind of a roller coaster right now, I feel where so many things are just kind of up in the air for many of you. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's being pushed out of stagnant energy. So overall, it's good. It's just, it's a really, really messy, crazy process. And there's a lot of healing that needs to be done after you release something so intense as well, you know? I mean, these drastic life changes, you know, people are, people are moving, people are leaving relationships, people are doing, there's just a lot. All for the best. Um, it's all really good change, you know what I mean? This is, this is wanted change. This isn't like. I mean, this is, this is, you know, the universe aligning you with things that are right for you on a soul level. So it's, it's not, it's not a bad change. It's, it's not like a, oh, I just saw 11, 11 too. <laughs> Soulmate number. Um, I mean, it, it's a change that you want, you know what I mean? It's a change that you're going to want on a soul level. It's a change that maybe meant, maybe your soul was kind of at war with your mind for a while. Maybe you were trying to trying to make the logical right decisions or you you were doing something that just wasn't right for you and you were trying to survive and it, it's kind of like you know you're, you're you're getting to a point where your soul and your mind are not at war anymore you're you're being aligned with things that are right for you on a soul level so there's no more faking it there's no more pretending there's no more stagnant energy you know what i mean it's just this flood and this flood is gonna it's been going on for a couple months it's gonna continue and it's just gonna push out Anything that's that's not serving you, anything that's not right for you, it's it's just gonna push those things out, and it's gonna it's gonna continue happening, and the flood's gonna get stronger and stronger. You know, we're we're gonna see there could be. I mean, I hate to predict things like this, but there could be natural disasters around this time too, because just the energy that I'm feeling overall, you know, when there's this kind of like chaotic sudden change, I feel like there's there's often. Um, there can be natural disasters that go along with that. So we'll look out for that. And I just heard a siren too. So I don't, it's just like a warning. It's where my ears have been ringing so much lately, especially on the left side. I don't even know what that's about. I mean, I know it's, it's you know, spirit communication and that sort of thing, but I don't even know what to make of it. All right, let me get into the energy though. I'm going to use a few different decks, I think. I'm going to look at love and I'm going to look at money as well. I'm just going to look at like overall, look your overall path. Okay, so for the next week, and it is 2.22. <laughs> so I'm seeing a lot in it. There's a lot of synchronicity right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed that the past week, but there's just, there's a lot of synchronicity. Um, all right, so what do, what do the viewers need to know about the energy the next week? What do they need to, to have abundance, to have, you know, work success, financial success, success and love? What do the viewers need to know over the next week about the energy? Off to you. We're getting two cards that we got in the other reading about a week ago too. So it's that same energy, um, you know, surrendering to your intuition, like letting your intuition in, letting your free spirited side in, um, surrendering, surrendering to your full power. You know, this is this time period is about conquering fears. It's about standing up for yourself, standing up for the people you love. Um, you know, surrendering, just surrendering to her full power, stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, being pushed out of your comfort zone, embracing, you know, the, the things that are the new things that are coming into your life right now. Um, surrender to creativity, you know, if you have art, like I said, art projects lying around or, 
maybe you're a musician and you, you want to work on music, just anything like that. You know, it says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So, and we see these, like, she's got, what does she have in her hand here? It's almost like a portal of light she has here, and she's got all these, I don't know if you can see the butterflies right here. And she's just sitting out, standing out in this field, and it's, it's like she's just kind of, this is intuition, you know, this is... This is, she's opening herself up to her creative side, to her spirit, to her, what her soul wants, what her soul needs. She's not being overly logical anymore. She's not getting lost in her head as, as she's trying to get out of her head and into her spirit more and into this creative side. She's, um, you know, she's, she's getting into alignment with things that are right for her on a soul level, on her soul path. Surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. So again, we're, we always have to have a balance of ego and soul, of course. You can never really just completely get over your ego, but this is basically saying, you know, let go of the pride, let go of the walls, let go of the defense mechanisms, let go of the, the fears, you know, this time period is all about releasing releasing the old and, and, you know, facing your fears head on and, and getting past your fears. This is, you know, just letting go of pride and letting go of anything that's been holding you back. You know, this is, this time period is about just breaking free and, and stepping into this new energy. And, you know, the more you let go and the more you, you step into this and the more you're, you get into this intuitive meditative space and you start connecting with your guides, like the, the easier it gets, you know, the more things, and flow you know like we said there's no stagnant energy anymore so things are flowing either way and it's, it's up to you if that's a gentle stream or if that's a flood you know if it has to be a flood if that's the only thing that works on you then it's going to be a flood it's really it's up to you surrender the habit of people pleasing so speak your needs and be true to yourself Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. You know, this is for empathetic people that have been in relationships with narcissistic men or women. Um, you know, people that were abusing you, people that were putting you down, people that were using you, people that were making you feel like you weren't good enough. You know, this is about clearing your throat chakra. I feel that right now. There's a, there's a huge emphasis on the, the throat chakra that, um, for those of you that are resonating with what I just said, I think that it's it's telling you you know maybe the heart and the throat chakra as well um they need some healing done they need some they, they need to be opened up more but you know you're doing it every time even if your voice shakes even if you know even if it's uncomfortable standing up for yourself even if it's awkward at first you know it, it takes 21 days to start a new pattern so if you if you've been you know shy or you've been um just silent in any way you know what I mean maybe you just you, you have maybe some insecurities and you just don't really fully know how to stand up for yourself it's, it's saying you know do that like even if your voice shakes even if it doesn't come naturally to you like keep doing it until it becomes natural to you keep keep you know facing your fears head on and conquering your fears head on keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone keep speaking up keep saying what you need to say keep standing up for yourself whether this is in work or relationships or wherever you know say what needs to be said and and even if it's you know i mean i know a lot of people don't like conflict but it's like sometimes it's like you have to if someone's being abusive and they're putting you down all the time and they're hurting you you know eventually you have to stand your ground and you have to speak up and you have to set boundaries with them. And so this is what it's telling you to do, you know. Don't worry about other people right now. Don't don't focus on, on who needs what. Focus on yourself. Focus on healing your own throat chakra and your heart chakra. Um, take some time to just retreat and heal yourself and, and start learn to, to speak your needs and, and stay true to yourself and stay true to, yeah, stay true to who you are. Um, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. This to me again is, is, well, it's like what we were just saying, you know, you need a relaxing break. You need time in nature. Um, replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy in there. So, I mean, this is, again, this is nature. This is, this is connecting to your spirit guides, to the, to the trees, to the forest, to the, 
to the earth, to the ground. I want to say to the dirt. I don't know if that's specific for someone. Um, to the to the animals, you know, just to the to the spirit, this um, the spirits there, you know, the the forest spirits. Just connect to all of that. Connect to nature. Get into this meditative, intuitive space. You know, the, the past couple of weeks, this is what our your guys have been saying over and over: is get into this intuitive meditative state like think about how you feel when you're out in nature everything is just it's pure it's just pure love it's it's calm you know you feel you feel connected to your past life selves most likely you feel grounded you feel in touch you feel you know like you can relax you feel like you can heal and you need this healing energy right now this is not the time to be in survival mode because right now you know, especially if you're just standing up for yourself, what you really need is is time in nature. You need just some quiet time to yourself to heal or quiet time, like retreat with someone that you love. But, you know, nothing, nothing too intense right now. No, no. I mean, I feel like you, a lot of you just got through some heavy energy or you're currently in the middle of heavy energy. So it's saying when you get out of this heavy energy, you know, when, when this, if you just broke up with someone or you just left a job or whatever, it's saying, you know, like, go easy on yourself, too. You're going to need to to relax. You're going to need to heal this. You're going to need to unblock your throat chakra and your heart chakra. And I guess your third eye chakra, too, because I keep pointing up here. Um, you're going to need to unblock your chakras. You're going to need to be doing clearing work, uncrossing work. Um, cut and clear rituals are really good. You know, cut and clear spells, um, they, they just cut the connection between you and, you know, whoever it is that you want to cut the connection to. Because we have these, you know, these energetic ties astrally that, you know, so we keep picking up on their emotions. They keep picking up on our emotions. So it's saying, you know, you can cut those those ties so that that's, that connection isn't affecting you. And especially if you're with a narcissist, it's like they can still try to feed on your energy even if you're not around. So you really got to you got to cut them out and you got to shield yourself as well. Um, and you got to Yeah, you got to rest. You got to. You gotta go easy on yourself, you know what I mean? Like you just whatever it was that you just survived, it was pretty intense. So you you and whatever there was a phase, whether it was, you know, it could have been an actual situation like a relationship, or it could have just been a phase you went through and things are you know, your life has drastically shifted over the next couple over the last couple months or so. Or over the next couple months for some of you, it looks like. Um But so be easy on yourself is you know. You know, you, you just went through a pretty huge change. So take the time to, to do the cut and clear work, do the uncrossing work, clear your chakras, heal, meditate, connect to your guides, spend time in nature, go easy on yourself. You know what I mean? Like, just be proud of yourself. If you just made a life change that was really hard to make, be proud of yourself. Or if you just moved to a new location or you're you know, anything like that, that's just like just a huge change, even if it's a really good, I mean, it's going to be a good change. You know, these changes that are coming in are good changes. They're changes that our souls want, but it, it's still rough. It's still rough making that sort of huge transition. You know what I mean? It, it's still rough getting through that energy at first. Like, I mean, I remember, I don't know why I'm being led drawn to say this specifically, like to talk about this specifically, but, you know, years and years ago when I was younger, I was in an abusive relationship and you know, he was physically abusive, ver verbally abusive, and then that's kind of typical, like, empath and narcissist relationships. Like, we, we, you know, we draw in people that need healing. We draw in people that, um, you know, we kind of see people to their core. We see the good in people. We see, we see the soul in people, basically, you know, and that, 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 you know, we, we tend to be very romantic. We tend to be very loyal, um, and empathetic, and that, that, you know, that can be rough when you're, um, when you're, you know, attracting um, narcissistic and abusive people and emotionally unavailable people and that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm not sure why I'm being led to, to talk about it, but, you know, when I, w I was in an abusive relationship years and years ago, and, and you know, after, he after I left him, I felt, I mean, this is the kind of energy that we're in right now, as I feel, is that same energy that I was in when I left him. You know, I felt relieved. It was like, the first few weeks, I was kind of sad. I was like, you know, I've been with this person for a pretty long time. Like, it's it's familiar. But after a few weeks, it's like I felt so free and so happy because I could leave the house and go out with someone without anyone questioning me. I could, you know, I just, I had freedom. I, I could, I could, 
didn't have to worry about someone looking through my phone all the time. I didn't have to worry about someone getting drunk and being physically abusive. I, I, I could go out and talk to who I wanted and do what I wanted. And I could, I could be myself. I could be silly and weird and, and whatever without being judged or talked down to or whatever. So it, it's like, it was that sort of energy with like the first few weeks, it was such a huge change and it was so, you know, he had got, he had become so familiar to me that I just, I didn't know what to do at first, but, but I felt relieved, you know, despite, despite the pain that I felt the first few weeks, it's like, I felt relieved and I, I felt more and more relieved as time went on because I was like, you know, I have freedom now and and I keep getting like these visuals of, of my viewers breaking these chains, like tra chains that were on your wrist. I see you guys like, it's like iron chains too, like rough, heavy steel chains that you've like broken free from. And it, it, it's so, and it, but it's like, you still have the chains on you, even though you're broken, you still have this reminder. you still have this pain that you're healing. Um, you're, you're still in this, this space where you got to meditate and take some time for yourself, take some time to heal with yourself or with someone you really love and trust. But, um, you know, it's like you still have the chains on your arms as a reminder, even though you've broken them. But but you have broken them, which is the amazing thing. You're not being chained down to anything anymore. You know, this new territory is unfamiliar and kind of scary. And it's different and new. And, you know, there might be like a new, new, new soulmates are coming in a lot right now, too. So maybe you just met a new soulmate and you're like, do I really want to like, is this, is this right for me? Like, can I do this when I just invested so much time in this, this other person where I was just with this person for years? Can I really just be with this new soulmate? Is it that simple? And it's like, yeah, this is, you know, you're, the universe is bringing people in, into your life that are in alignment with, with who you are on a soul level, people that are actually going to be right for you. So, so yeah, if you've been in an abusive or emotionally unavailable situation for a year or years and you meet someone knew who, who you actually have a legit connection with, like, take it. Even if it's unfamiliar, take it. Because, you know, sometimes, like, the most unfamiliar things are, are they end up being the best, you know, when you when you step out of your comfort zone and, and you try something new. A lot of times that ends up being a really good thing. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm trying to light this sage, but it's not working for me. <laughs> All right. I guess that's not happening right now. But, you know, go out on the date, like go out on, take the new job, you know, apply at that place that you're not sure if you should apply it or not. Um, you know, this is, like I said, this is a time for change. So, so trust the things that are coming into your life. You know, if, if you, if you feel called to start a new project or anything like that, this is the time for it. This is the time to be starting new projects. This is a time to be starting new relationships. This is a time to be starting new careers, new jobs, you know what I mean? It's it's a time for the new. It's a time for, yeah, it's a time for the new. And just so we have surrendered the drama here. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So this goes along with this energy over here. Um, I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand with what we were just saying, you know, like, Stand up for yourself. Clear your throat chakra and your heart chakra, and I guess your your third eye chakra too, and and speak your truth. Stand up for yourself. Be clear about what you want. Be clear about who you are. Be brave. You know this is a time for. This is a time to ask you know new people out. This is a time to make bold, audacious just decisions that you that you might not have been able to, you might not have been able to do this months ago or, or years ago. You know, it, it's this new energy. It, it's like, do, do the thing that scares you right now. Do the, do the thing that feels right on a soul level, but feels unfamiliar and scary. Do that right now. Um, the universe is supporting that. There's just so much movement in the astral realm. There's just so much forward energy that, you know, like I said, there's like this this wave, there's this flood right now that just keeps flowing. And, and so you can get on that flood and, and let it take you wherever you want, basically. Um, and surrender the drama, you know. You might have some spirit animals around you right now, too. I feel like this is like a very honorable person, someone who might have been a knight in a past life. Surrender the drama, surrender to nature, you know, let, let nature in, let... 
let this flow in let your intuition in. let your third eye open let your let your heart guide you right now let your heart guide you right now i think that's that's the key and you know try to stay balanced too you know with 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 drastic change there there comes drama but I'm trying to, because it's trying to tell me something, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to see what exactly it is. I think there's a comparison between these two, okay? Because this energy, it's saying very similar things, but it's different. This person is confident. She's assertive. She's, she's standing up for herself, but in a, in a clear way. This kind of drama is like the person standing up for themselves, but in like a confrontational way, like where they just end up arguing or they just they bottle everything up and then they explode at the last minute and it's just a huge chaotic mess so it's saying you know stand up for yourself and speak your needs and be assertive and honest and forward and truthful in this way in this in this way that's that's confident and um this is like it like like king a queen energy like a king of swords queen of swords kind of energy Whereas this is just like, you know, someone bottling their emotions up and, and lashing out all of a sudden or someone just just cussing people out or just just losing it. You know what I mean? Just not um, the energy, the intentions that might be the same, but the energy is much different. And so it's saying come with this kind of energy, not with this kind of like explosive energy that's just blaming and not going to get anyone anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, this is more like using, like, I feel words. Like, I feel like, like, you're, you're speaking your truth, but you're doing it in a way that you're, you're mindful of how you communicate. It isn't just all, you know, built up, pent up emotion that explodes. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's emotional. You're communicating in an emotional way with this card, but you're, you're doing it in a way that doesn't blame the other person. You're doing it in a way that you're, you're mindful of how you're communicating. You're, you're consciously, you're, you're aware of, of of the words you're using you're aware of your body language you're aware of um of your energy it isn't just like just an explosion you know what i mean so it's, it's come with that come with that it's still emotional you're still saying everything you need to say you should not sugarcoat anything you shouldn't hold anything back i'm not saying it that you should that you should i'm saying that you should say everything you need to say but you just say it in um you just you you just be mindful of, of how you communicate it. You know what I mean? Just just choose the right words. Choose the words that feel right for you. You know, if you have some of you have twin flames coming back too. If this person comes at you with some heavy energy, you know, it's saying to don't um I just saw 32, 32 also. <laughs> and it's 242, so that's interesting. Um, you know, if you have like a twin flame or a soulmate or someone coming in and, and they come at you with some kind of harsh energy, it's it's saying to like you can say, hey, this, what you did wasn't okay, this wasn't okay, that wasn't okay. Um, like, I feel like we need to work on this, we need to talk about this. Um, I want to work through things, I don't know how I can, I'm not sure what, who I'm channeling, but I want to work through things, I don't know how I can trust you again, but, but, um, I'm channeling a lot right now, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what I'm, what I'm getting from this here. <laughs> She's just, she's saying everything that needs to be said. She's just, she's, there's such an energy difference and it's so hard to put my finger on like how to explain it. But I, th I think that's, I think that pretty much sums it up is, is that, you know, she's saying the same thing. She's just not saying it in an explosive, angry way. She's saying it in a, in a calm, but assertive way, which is that kind of energy you want to take on. And then we have surrender to spirit here. Um, once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn this situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So I think that's if you've been, you know, planting seeds for a while and, and you're kind of seeing them come to fruition is, you know, surrender to, I don't want to say this, I don't want to say surrender to divine timing because I feel like, you know, this is a time to go out and make things happen. This is, this is Taurus energy. So this is, this is a time to go out and, and make your life what you want it to be. You know, this is a time to, to start new relationships. This is a time to, to bring forward love offers. This is a time to go apply at new jobs. This is a time to start school. This is a time to do all those things that you want to do. This is a time to start art projects, to start bands, to start songs, to 
just to start new things, you know. Um, but I think it's saying, you know, surrender to your intuition too. surrender to your spirit guides, surrender to, um, to nature, to that nature energy, you know, you know, if you've, if you've been working hard and you've done all you can, just, just get in tune with that and figure out where to go next and don't go too hard on yourself. Surrender to your full power. You know, your life is calling you to step into your full power, power rather than playing it small, which is what this whole reading has been saying, you know, speak your truth. Let go of pride. Let go of fear. Um, push, face your fears head on. Let them go. Start being creative. Start being your true free-spirited self. Start being your adventurous self. If you want to, want to, want to travel, go travel again. You know, um, go do things that you love. Go, go focus on art projects. Go just, just things are moving. So move with them, and surrender to your full power. You know, stop playing small. This is a time to to be who you are. All right, I'm going to look at love now. Okay. What do the readers need to know about their love life over the next week? What do the viewers, I mean, what do the viewers need to know about their love lives over the next week? So this is from May 6th to the 12th. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Chemistry, religious factors. Okay. So over the next week, you know, like I was saying, this is a good time to start dating. This is a good time to, to take on new projects. So maybe if you've already been with someone, you might be getting engaged this, you know, over the next month or so. You, there might be some kind of proposal. There might be um, maybe moving into a new home, maybe just like a new step in your relationship, like just kind of just communicating better. Maybe you guys just have like a breakthrough this week where you start communicating in a more... Um, more loving, more, more genuine, um, compassionate way or, or, you know, moving in or just some sort of commitment, you know, it, it's, if you're already together, then it's, it's moving forward and taking things to the next level, whatever, whatever that might be, that could be with work too. You know, it, it could be, it, it, it could also be a work situation where you guys are starting a business or some sort of thing like that. And for those of you that are single, I would say this is, you know, maybe if there's someone nearby that's been, has had their eye on you, it's, it's taking, it's, it's going out and getting to know people and, and going on dates and putting yourself out there. And, you know, it looks favorable overall. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You guys do have a lot of chemistry. This is confirmation that, you know, they, they are, the person in question does, they are attracted to you. Whoever you were thinking of when I did this reading, you know, they, they are attracted to you. They do notice you. There might be religious factors. You know, maybe you guys have different religious beliefs that are, I see the crown here too. I see like a, think about what that means. Um, you know, there, there may be different religious beliefs, different political beliefs, different, just some differences that you guys need to work through, but um, it's nothing that you can't work through. This is if you're meeting someone new, too, that would make sense. And it's also saying, you know, your religious upbringing and your spiritual path affects your love life. And, and with the new moon in Taurus... You know, this is a good time to do spell work and to do rituals, too. This is a really good time to to do love drawing and road opening rituals and um, just spells to meet the right person, you know, those sort of things. So if you're doing the rituals and the spells right now, it's saying, you know, those are working. This is it's it, this is confirmation that that is having an effect on your love life, your your intentions, your affirmations, your your spells, your rituals, telling the universe what you want and being clear about what you want, um, 
opening your heart up, putting yourself out there. You know, all these, these spiritual ideals, this, um, whatever your path, your soul path may be, you know, it, it is affecting your love life. Um, I think in a good way, I think in a good way too. For some of you, it might be differences, but I, I don't sense anything major. I think for the most part, this is a pretty good thing. This is, um, this is, you know, your power is, is, is bringing love to you. Your, your intentions for love are, are manifesting love for you. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is sort of, if you've been in a relationship for a long time, it, it's kind of getting things back to a, um, kind of rekindling the spark, relighting the spark, um, remembering what it was that, that made you guys fall for each other in the first place, remembering what, what drew you to each other, you know, going on some dates. And if this is a new person, then, you know, it, it's kind of keeping things a little bit light, um, flirty, cute, sweet, kind energy, um, compassionate energy, light energy having fun, going on dates, getting to know new people. That's that, that's kind of energy, you know. So the next week we have a lot of um, a lot of potential for for new soulmates to come in. Um, a lot of potential for 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 our love lives um, taking the next level of commitment. Chemistry. Um, I'm just picturing like people going out and and going I just I keep picturing people just just going out basically and and meeting new people and and having fun and just kind of, you know, kind of taking things easy right now, especially if you've just made some huge life changes, you know, let yourself go have a night out, let yourself go have some fun, let yourself have a day to just heal, to just take a bath and rest and maybe watch a movie or or work on an art project or or go out and have a drink or something, but just let yourself have some fun right now. You know, if you've had the weight of the world on your shoulders for a while, it's like just just have a night to get into this this flirty kind of light, fun energy. Maybe your 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 partnership needs that right now too. If you're with someone, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is letting you know that that your soulmate or your twin flame is they are around. They are. There is psychic communication between you two. There is telepathic communication. There's your, your intentions, your affirmations, your, your spiritual path, your rituals. All these things have, have brought this person to you, you know? So it's confirmation that you are calling this person in. This person is aware of you. The person, they, you know, the chemistry is mutual. There is an interest there. There is potential there. You just, you know, you need to decide what you want. You know, if you might, you could be choosing between two people and, and you, you've got to, you've got to really start thinking about it and making that decision. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you've been wondering, is this a soul connection? Yes. If you've been wondering, is this my soulmate or a twin flame? It looks like the answer is this is a soulmate. Um, you know, this is, this is just confirmation that this is. A divine connection this is a soul-based connection this is true love basically and you know you can't have this soon you can't have this this is manifesting now um as a result of, of your your spiritual work and the intentions and, and energy you put out into the universe those seeds you planted are finally coming to fruition but you just got to decide what you want and you got to be clear when you talk to the universe you have to don't if you're stuck between two people you're confusing the universe if you're you know, stuck between wanting to be single and wanting a relationship, you're confusing the universe. So figure out what you want. Write it down. If if you if you're still trying to manifest someone, then maybe get a piece of pen and a paper and and write down qualities that you want and then maybe you could do a spell with it, a ritual, or you could just write it down and just have that be your affirmation that you, you that you say to yourself every morning. It's it's up to you what you want to do with it. But 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 let the universe know what you want specifically in a man, you know, or a woman, either way. You know, just be very clear, and that, then that soulmate's going to come in once you're clear with the universe. And when the soulmate does come in, let let it unfold naturally. Um, if you've been hurt a lot, I know it, it's hard sometimes to to not worry, to not overthink things, to not be scared, you know, especially if you've got a big heart. It's really hard for empaths to to get in relationships and, and not be scared, especially if you've been with abusive or emotionally unavailable people. Um, 
you know, it, it, is, it is hard to, to just open your heart and, and try to trust someone else after, after all that. But it's saying, you know, it's, it's saying to open your heart and it's saying to, to get out there and get to know people. You know, if you've been alone for a long time, get out, just go, go do something fun, whatever it might be. Just go try to meet new people, go on dates. Um, just, just don't, don't be in hermit mode right now. It's not the time for, it's not the time for hermit mode. I mean, I think that you guys, I mean, for, to an extent, like, yeah, you need to heal and you need to be in nature, especially if you've just been through a lot, but, but at the same time, you can, that's not quite the same as hermit mode. You know what I mean? Like you can heal and be out in nature and still be going out and doing something. You know, if you're going hiking, you're going out and doing something, you're meeting people. If you're going to a ritual or something where, you know, maybe like a, like a bonfire ritual or something where it's, it's like, you're no, you're not in hermit mode because you're going out and meeting people, but it's still calm and healing. And it's got this pure loving energy to it. It's not something that's going to overwhelm you. It's not dramatic. It's not too heavy. It's just, it's something healing. You know what I mean? So, so heal and go easy on yourself, but also be going out and doing things, you know, don't just stay at home right now. And when this, when this soulmate comes in, you know, even if it's hard, even if it's scary at first to try hard to trust this person, just, just try to allow things to just naturally unfold. Try to, try to let go of control, let go of fear as much as you can. And, and, you know, try not to worry because that's not going to do you any good. You know what I mean? Like we're human. We're going to need love. We're going to meet people that we fall in love with, whether we like it or not. And we might as well just, just kind of embrace that and. And just be willing to be vulnerable. You know, we have to be. We're going to be sooner or later. We might as well just do it. Even if it's hard. So this, like they said, this reading is all about facing your fears head on. Pushing past those fears, you know. Um, rewriting those fears. And and just, just lots of growth. Lots of forward movement right now. Okay. I feel like there's some other stuff here too. So what else do the viewers need to know about their love lives? Over the next week. So it's May 6th. It's May 6th through the 12th. The fledgling. The fledgling is about new beginnings. Um... And then we have High Priestess of Earth, so this is like, I always think of like the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles as, as Earth kind of energy, just because they're, they're stable, they're grounded. So this could be a new start with someone who is, who is earthy, who could be an Earth sign, it could be just someone who is just earthy, connected to nature, empathetic, grounded, stable, solid, um... You know, there's not a lot of drama with them. They're 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 down to earth. They're you know, it's, it's it could be a new start with with someone who's kind of in that energy. And we have the reminder card. It says, "Don't forget." So I feel like I feel like you might be meeting this person, or you might be dating this person and then there's a reminder it could be a reminder of your past it could be an ex that hits you up or a twin flame that hits you up um that says you know like don't forget like don't forget about me don't forget about this or there could be a reminder of, of if you've been trying to move past something with someone you might be reminded of something they did in the past that sort of thing um let's see how you get through it you get through it with vision with with intuition with heart with spirit with this this full moon forward energy you know you, you get through it by by going inward and and being intuitive and and you know just having this vision for your life for yourself for what you want and, and making that decision so that you're not like oh do I want this x do I not want this x you know like you'll know if you're in you get into this intuitive space you know, see how calm she is, how calm and intuitive she is. You see the look on her face. You see how she's got this 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 um, new moon behind her, this new moon in Taurus behind her, backing her up. And she has this little light coming out of her heart, you know. So this is, like I said, about opening your heart and, and making the right decisions for you. You know what I mean? You might be reminded of the past. There might be some nostalgia that's coming up this week. Um, 
whether it's good or bad, and it, it's saying, you know, you still need to be intuitive and get into this, this space and think about what's right for you. Think about who's right for you. High Priestess of Spirit. So again, that's about intuition. That's you right now. Belonging. And then towards the end of the week, we have... We have you just feeling like you... Feeling more at home. Figuring something out. Maybe having some sort of breakthrough. Um, connecting deeply with someone you love. Just, just feeling more at home. Feeling more comfortable in your own skin. You know, this could be a new home, too, if you've been maybe trying to foreclose on a house. It's, it's that kind of energy where it, it's it's like your, intu your intuition is what's going to take you home. Following your intuition, following your heart. Um, getting into this, this intuitive space, this meditative space is, is what's going to bring you back home. So the people and the situations and the places that feel right for you. I also want to say that this could be, if you have like a, a parent or a, a brother or sister or someone that you were close to that died, this could also be them leading you because I see the, the gravestone here, don't forget. So it's kind of like, this this person on the other side is is I, I see one 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 too right now. This person is on on the other side might be leading you. They might be leading you through you know spirit through. They might be leading you to be to not forget who you are, to remember who you are, to remember their love for you, to remember what kind of connection you had, to remember just to, just to remember something that that's important to you basically. And they might be pushing you to get into this intuitive energy to to embrace your intuition, to embrace your psychic gifts, to, you know, get into this flowing state. You know, you might have your guides, you know, a spirit, maybe it's someone that was close to you that passed on is, is just they're helping you open your third eye and, and stay in that energy. And then that leads you to belonging, the house of night that is going home, basically, that's that's being yourself again and and you you know you've gone through these cycles too where you know it might have felt endless being in in bad relationships bad situations but it it's saying you know that was just a cycle and and you're you're finally getting into an intuitive space where you're you're able to make better choices that's two 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 right now and this soulmate or this twin flame that's coming in is, is going to be loyal to you and and you're going to be loyal to them And there might be a sense of um, of respect, of understanding, of empathy, of kindness, of just mutual love that you didn't have in the past. You know, maybe maybe you were cheated on in the past, or there was just like a maybe it was like an emotional disloyalty where they they just didn't understand you, they didn't get you, or they didn't want you, they didn't they weren't committed to who you are, who you were on a soul level. And it's saying, you know, this new person coming in, they're they're gonna get you on a soul level. This is a soul deep bond. They're they're gonna get you. They're gonna be loyal to you when it comes to relationships and, and loyal to you, um, to who you are, loyal to, to who you are and what's right for you, what works for you. They're gonna care about those things. And again, this is this is that new energy that um that dating energy that we were just talking about. And this wanted to pop out, so it's kind of like you know, I mean, this makes sense. This is someone who's earthy. They're they're grounded. They're 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 trying. They're stable, or they're trying to be stable. They're trying to figure their life out, and they're they're down to earth. They're and you're balancing that energy with with this playful card. You know, we have this cute little kitten right here. It's it's this light energy. It's it's going out on dates and having fun and and being silly and creative and. And funny and and you know just being down to earth basically and and going out and living your life and, and meeting new people i think that's all the cards that want to be chosen so so yeah so this is if you've been you know if you've been asked out on a date it might be a, a good might be favorable it looks like All right, let's look at money just really quick. Money and career. I'm going to use my animal guidance deck. I don't know why I'm just not feeling like using my tarot cards right now, but I will in the next week probably. 
What do the viewers need to know about work and finances over the next week? Change. I'm, I'm hearing, I just changes. I mean, this, this reading is all, especially the, I mean, the readings all the past week have all been about change, you know, all about drastic life changes. So what do they, what do the viewers need to hear? What do they need to know when it comes to work and career finances? The flamingo acts with grace, um, you know, grace, integrity. I, I, for whatever reason I see, you know, I feel seeing the bigger picture. Um, maybe leaving a toxic work situation and, and doing it with grace. Um, the fly, you have such a big heart. Let yourself in. You know, let yourself be honest with yourself about what you feel and what you want. If you want to work with animals or kids or you want to be a musician or an artist or whatever, it's saying, you know, be honest with yourself. Don't pretend like you don't want those things. Don't pretend like you... It's, it's saying it's not the, not the time to be overly analytical and, and logical. It's, it's time to be... It's time to, to follow your heart. It's time to, to get on track with your soul purpose, with your soul path, with the, the people and the situations and the jobs that feel right for you on a soul level. So let that in. Whatever that dream is that you've been ignoring, let it in. You know, if you're a musician and, and you, it's not saying to quit your quit your daily job, but you, you can you can write songs and sing on the side, or you can if you're an artist, you can paint on the side and have a regular job while you get started and make a name for yourself. You know what I mean? But it's saying pursue these creative hobbies now, pursue these interests, pursue these possible career paths that might make you really happy. The cat, a uh, time to relax and conserve your energy. So again, this is a time to be really gentle with yourself. Don't overdo it right now. You know, you need to rest and you need to heal and you need to stop putting the weight of the world on your shoulders and you need to, to come out of your shell. You, you need to, this is a time, like I said, this is a time to go out and have fun and go on dates and meet new people and start new jobs, new careers, new hobbies um, step out of your comfort zone, just do things that you wouldn't normally do, um, you know, come out of your shell, whatever it is you're, you're scared of doing, do it, it's probably the thing that's going to be most worthwhile, the giraffe, walk tall, seeing the overview, so again, like I was saying about the fly, you're, you know, you're seeing the bigger picture right now, you're, you're, you're getting to that intuitive space, I think this, well, because I, I know this is supposed to apply to work. So I think it's saying, yes, go easy on yourself, but also this applies to work, not just dating, because it's, it's like, come out of your shell, like, go apply to jobs that you might not normally apply to. Um, take that, take that step, take that leap of faith, and, and see the bigger picture, see the overview. Um, Try not to get caught up on the, in the daily nine to five drama. Try to try to rise above that and, and figure out what you really want career wise and financially where you want to be. Um, the camel, know that you're worthy of love. You know, know that you're worthy of this career that you want, this job that you want. Um, that helps it manifest when you know that you deserve these things, when you know that, that, that you deserve to be financially abundant. The whale, we sing our song of love. So again, get in tune with your emotions. Um, manifest your manifest your dreams now the whale shark okay I think that's about right all right thank you guys for watching my donation link is below um if you want to donate anything even even a dollar it, it all adds up you know it's helpful if you'd like to purchase a private reading for me my information is below too and you can you can email me with any questions that you have have a good day.